Oh, hey there, Tall Man Clan. You're, you're not even seeing me, are you? Let's flip that around. There we are. We are in the Jayco booth, and we're going to be looking at a few things for uh, uh, some of you. In fact, Ted wants us to look at the 29XK. Unfortunately, they don't have the 29XK here, but they have the 29XD. 26XD. And the 29M. MV. So we're going to look at the 29 MV and we're going to do just like we did for our first stream. We're going to look at a lot of these things for you guys. We're going to try to get, well, we can't get them all in. There's like 1500 RVs here for God's sakes, but we're going to do a lot, at least what we can. And so we're going to turn around. We have, uh, oh, of course I just, there we go. We have Caleb with us. He is from Jayco. And so it's great to have someone from the manufacturer hanging out with us and uh, being able to answer some of the the questions that uh, you guys might have. So Lisa's going to be on her phone uh, so she can have the chat up. And so if you have questions, uh, please, uh, if, you know, feel free. Uh, Ted, we hope you're there because this one's for you. And uh, I did say thank you before, but we were saying thank you for the super chat. So again, thank you so much for before. So um, let's uh, go look at the 29 first. All right. So again, we are live day one at the Tampa RV Super Show. So uh, this is the 29 MV. Again, Ted, if you're there, this one again is for you. I know it's not the uh, the XK, but this is as close. Uh, Similar, yes. Right. Uh, so basically, the difference you're going to get between the 29 XK Red Hawk and the 29 MV Greyhawk is one. It's a step up. The Red Hawk is a price point below the Greyhawk. Uh, so in this Greyhawk, you're going to get a few more features, uh, a standard solar package, hydraulic leveling jacks, a few more components on the upgraded, uh, upgraded ride and handling package that you also get on the Redhawk. Uh, so a few more components there, uh, as well as uh, more of a high quality fiberglass uh, sidewall. Uh, so just a few cosmetic details as well. Uh, and then as well, uh, simply on the inside of the floor plan, uh, you're going to have a side facing bed versus that rear facing bed on the XK. Uh, and you're going to lose uh, that pantry on the XK that you get in this. Uh, so there's just a few minor differences, mainly bed placement, placement and pantry. Uh, but again, very similar floor plan, just different features when it comes to that Red Hawk versus a Gray, uh, Gray Hawk. But we'll, we'll look at the 26 after this too, because that'll be, again, sort of close. Right, similar, similar family, and it'll be helpful to look at the Red Hawk and, and see how that Red Hawk family looks compared to this Gray Hawk family. Now, now you talked about solar. Solar seems to be re a really big thing this year at the show. It Everybody is. seems to be talking about it. Yes. Um, talk to me about the solar on this one. Again. So our solar package at Jayco, it's standard 190 watt solar panel. You get a second house battery. Usually without that solar package, you only have one house battery. So you get that second battery for more power output. And then you get a dual controller. And what that dual controller does is basically it brings in that charge from the solar panel and it detects which of your house or chassis batteries needs more charge at that moment. And it'll direct charge to those batteries that need attached. Excellent. Okay. So one 190 watt panel, second battery, and the dual controller. Oh, that's disregarded. All right. So, uh, I mean, I've seen, you know, a lot of the classes and, uh, you know, they're mostly built on four chassis, yeah. right? This one's a 550 chassis, right? This is your E450 E450 chassis, E450 chassis, chassis yeah. right? So for those watching, you know, you've got some storage down here, Lisa. Lisa, yes. go over here. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading a I'm comment. Reading. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... She, she's doing dual duty. She's holding the camera for us, but she's also trying to read the the, uh, the, um, the comments. Um, on Class Cs that are built on four chassis, the storage on the outside, um, limited slightly, different than, say, uh, a Class C that's on a, or a Super C or something that's on a commercial truck. Okay. Nice slam latches, though. As you can hear, they're nice and solid. A little bit of storage there, which is actually, it goes in there quite deep. Um, if you want to do a TV outside, there's actually, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a, uh, a place right there to connect your, your TV there, which is kind of nice. Um, where we were standing to begin with, I'm sure you were seeing it as we were standing there, but there's a huge storage compartment back here, uh, which is sort of pretty decent size for a class. Okay? Um, there's a ladder already pre-mounted on the back. We don't need to go back there. The ladder's there. As we walk around, you'll see they have nice frame windows. So some nice upgraded features. Yep. Right. Absolutely. So let's uh, let's go climb inside and see what we see. 
And actually, before we do climb inside, yeah, before we do climb inside, guys, I do want to point out this. Sure. This is something particularly special about all the ACO class C's, so you're going to get this front cap on your Greyhawk, also on your Redhawk. It's a true one-piece seamless fiberglass front cap. Nice. And the big deal about that is a lot of our competition, you're going to find a seam that runs along this edge right here, runs all the way up, or they might have what we call a bra. It's basically a one piece of strap to the front, but there's still a seam that runs along the side here. You're not going to find any of those seams on our Jacos. Uh, and the big deal there is eliminate the threat of water penetration down the road. Uh, it's a big deal when you go to trade in your unit down the road that uh, dealers around the country will, the first place they go is up to your front bunk. They're going to look under that mat, mattress and if they see there's any water damage, that's that's going to take a big hit to your resale value. So you're not going to have any of those issues with our Jayco Class C's. And additionally on the inside here, it's a 750 pounds rated bunk, oh, nice. uh, which is one of the largest in the industry. Yeah. So you can have a lot of kids up there, you yeah. can use it for storage, whatever. <laughs> the, whole, the whole little little league de uh, uh, baseball team. Exactly, yeah, you can. I think they are. All right, so, well, yeah, that's great. We're going to follow her inside because she's going to clean in front of us. So we're doing this right. She's sanitizing as we go. <laughs> Now, before we get too far, I am going to crawl up here into the cockpit and have a little seat. This is called Tall Man's RV Reviews. And so, uh, if you've never seen our videos before and you're joining us for the first time, I'm six foot four. So, remember that as I'm walking around and use my height as reference, okay? So, I, I drive a, a, a Ford uh, F350. And so, uh, this is almost like being at home for me. Um, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, what I like is there's a center console right there, so on a longer drive, I can rest my knee, which is kind of cool. Um, there's an additional uh, panel here. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, Caleb, that's for uh, some of the uh, the backup camera and things like that. Your backup camera and side view cameras are integrated into that. Perfect. So backup and side view cameras, which is awesome. Okay. The, the rest of it is your standard sort of, you know, Ford features. So we won't spend a lot of time with those. Okay. Okay. Um, when he was mentioning that front cap, that's what's right here. And you see there's some seat belts here, so I'll just gonna pull them down. That's a bed. And, uh, well, as he said, what, 750 pounds? Yeah, it's a big 750. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure you'd want to be able to get up that ladder, you know, at <laughs> 750. But, no, no. You know, like a bunch of one, seven 100 pounders yes, would be good, right? Exactly. Um, as you can see, there's some cubbies up there. Um, there's uh, also a TV up there so that uh, you can watch TV up there at night, but that also swivels out here to become the TV that's in the living room, okay? Um, there's a window, I'm sure as you were, were scrolling, it's a nice little window there, the shades pulled down, so it's a little bit cooler in here, but uh, not that we need it to be cooler today, it's actually it's turned out to be a really nice day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It at, is. At the first day of the show. Yeah, it's a little cool this morning, but. It was, uh, yeah, we were all wearing our coats. Yeah, I. I, I Not anymore. I know. Yeah, I've, I've got a, a shirt on underneath here. I think we'll be taking that off. Right. All right, so right when you walk in, everybody, here's your theater chairs. Let's take a seat in these. Oh, yeah. Now, you don't see, you don't sink down in these. Um, and some of this, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're seat belts, right? There are, so yeah. So you, you can be sitting in here as yes. you're driving down the road. So you got the driver, you got the passenger, and you can uh, have a few yes. people sit here as well. Now these do recline, right? so let's not forget that. So come on, recline. It's brand new, so it's a little stiff. Yes. So there you go, so nice recliner, guys. Sorry, working on the gimbal here. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I can't get the recline. It's okay. It's all right. And I'm glad you brought up the seat belts, because that's an excellent point when it comes to Jayco. We go out of our way to maximize the safety in our coaches and so you're going to find seat belts in all designated seating locations so you got two there you got two in your front facing but the extra step that we take is we have two rear facing seat belts on your dinette we're not legally required to put those there but it's a big deal it's, it's the right thing to do we go out of our way in the engineering to make sure that we have dot approved seat belts in the rear facing dinette not a lot of manufacturers take that step uh, to make sure everybody in the coach is safe as you're going down the road. So it means you technically could see eight. Correct. Yeah. Two, four, yes, eight. Yep, eight yeah. people. Like, like I said, the, the hundred pound, seven, of, yeah. <laughs> seven, yeah, uh, anyway. Plus the driver. Plus the driver, yeah. <laughs> exactly, the little league team. Well, behind Caleb is, is the, the, the galley, um, and it's, uh, it's a straight sort of galley, which is great, right? 
and uh, you got your uh, dual sink here. In fact, Lisa usually does the sink and, and the kitchen. That's, you know, what she likes to do. So we let her do that. Oh, okay. For those who don't know, by the way, Lisa is, is very shy. She doesn't actually like to be in front of the camera. And so when we first started our channel uh, about a year ago, it was about a month and a half before I got her in front of the camera. Wow. And so... He's, for, not, he's not lying. Yeah, so for those of you watching, again, we are live. Um, you know, just, you know, a little love for Lisa being in front of the camera. She Aww. just doesn't like it, but she does it because we know you guys, you know, you know you know, like her opinions too, just not me. Great job. Yeah. All right. So again, we, is it a solid surface? Yeah. yeah. This, is technically, this is technically a pressed. Um, actually, you know what? No, this is solid it, it's surface. It's upgraded. So because of supply chain issues, I'm sure you guys are aware in the RV industry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have to change some of our suppliers every now and again, but this looks like it was a benefit of the supply chain issue. <laughs> yeah. We bumped up to a solid surface in here. Very nice. I love the countertop, the, the prep space. This yeah. is awesome. Um, so we do have the split sink, the 50-50. That is stainless. Nice tall faucet. I love the window over the sink. You can actually see out. Um, nice uh, a detail on the, the balance, uh, balance there. So we do have upper space um, in the cabinets. These are deep enough for your plates. By the way, you're getting all kinds of comments right now, Lisa. Aw, thank you, guys. We're going to have to call it to Short Lisa's RV channel. <laughs> And we also have a small oven. Um, now, above that, we do have our microwave. This is a nice, large microwave. That yeah, is really that is. A lot of the, the Class C's, you have the tiny microwave. That is a nice size microwave. Um, we have storage above that as well. Deep storage, too. That goes way back there. Um, plenty of cabinets. I didn't yeah, look at that. These. I mean, all the yeah, way down. There's drawers. There's, there's all kinds of space here. Um, it placed enough for uh, big enough for your garbage can if you want to put that there. That's always one of our little pet peeves is you don't always have. Where do you put your garbage can? Yeah, I mean, look. Deal. I mean, think about it. If it wasn't there, right? If it if you had, didn't had that built in, where are you going to put that here? Right? I mean, there's there's no place here by the stairs. I mean, I, I suppose you could shove it up underneath the table. Yeah, but you don't want to do that. No. Yeah, so that it's great that. Next to the table. No, so, so so that's great that that's being thought about of, of yeah. where to do that, right? Um, and also I didn't mention you do have a tower of power. The tower of power. Run all your appliances. What that's is hip? Awesome. For all you yes. musicians out there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then we do have. I love the the, the um, cabinetry on the refrigerator. Oh yeah, it's panelized. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes it just match in, you know. You Very residential. And this is the Norgold. And um, um propane or, or electric. Or electric, yeah. right? Very nice. Will these ever be switched over to 12 volt? Is that sort of in the works or uh, not to put you on the spot or anything? Well, there's, there's talk of it. I'll not to put you on the spot or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do have um, some, some pantry space here as well. All right. Do the test. How's it? Actually sounds pretty good. It's, it is much thicker, I think, than some of them. Oh, yeah. And, and so one of our pet, pet peeves, since we, we have the, the manufacturer here, again, we'll put them on the spot. Yep. So uh, look, RVing is not what it used to be. It used to be for vacations, a couple, two, three weeks a year, or in the summer, or whatever. Right. And so many more people are full-timing. And when you full-time, you carry sort of a different sets of food than you might if you're just there for a week or two. Right. And so, so many of the pantries, they got the tiny little thin shelves, and you put like six cans, you know, of something on there, and all of a sudden, you yeah. know, it's it's dipped. It's warping, yeah. it, it, it is. And so, it's really, you know, just, you know, pass that on. To the, just yeah. beef, beef up all the, the, right. the pantries. No, yeah, and just, we always appreciate that feedback. I think I think one benefit of Jayco is, whether it's the story of our safety, whether it's that front cap to increase your resale value, yeah. whether it's just quality as a whole, we make sure that we think about those things and, and bring it to the next level. I mean, even if you're taking a look at our overhead cabinetry, a lot of manufacturers will just make cheap plastic struts. We make sure to add metal. Yep. And then we also put a second one, so it's dual struts, so you get a really solid cabinetry door. It's not and flopping on one exactly. side, yeah. So yeah. it's really sturdy, and we use really high-quality wood here, so it's, it's really solid-sounding. Yeah. You can, you can slam it as hard as you want to, it's not going to break. So just as you think about Jayco, think quality. That's, that's what we really put our heart and soul into. Absolutely. It, you know, and that's a great thing. And I'm, I'm glad we have him here because, you know, when we do what we do, we'll go to run to some dealers and dealers are dealers are dealers. Yep. And sales guys are sales guys. It's great to have some representatives Absolutely. from the manufacturers to get to speak to every once in a while. So um, the dinette, by the way, it converts into a bed. Um, there's some storage underneath, I think. 
there it, uh, it's it's a panel. Uh, we are gonna ah. be, we are gonna be adding <laughs> piano hinges to that starting model year 23. Right now it's just kind of a flimsy board like that. I, I totally get the complaints with that. Piano hinges. Yes. <laughs> I seem to remember Matt talking about piano hinges not so long ago. Right. He was uh, he was definitely calling us out for it. Yeah. We, we've been telling him they're coming, so he's not wrong. But they are gonna be coming model year 23, and yep. that's from the manufacturer, not Matt. <laughs> I love we, it. We love Matt. I mean, we do too, you know, yeah. a lot of times, uh, you know, we're, uh, I said at dealers, but I'll also tell my subscribers, look, give Matt a call. Yeah. I mean, he's promised to give you the best price. <laughs> so give the man yes. a call, yeah. all right? There's a reason why he's Matt. So, all right. Hang um, on, I've got a comment from Angela. Do you have my phone? You have many comments, Lisa. Uh, okay. I'm telling you, they love you. They don't... <laughs> Y'all don't love the doll man. It's okay. <laughs> I, I've, I've got big, thick skin. It's good. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Angela, uh, let's see. Gypsy Lizzie, uh, Lisa, you look great. Um, Lisa's great when she's touring the RV. She's very detailed. Thank you very much, Angela. Uh, Laugh Explorer, yay, Lisa. You Laugh guys are Explorer. awesome. How tall is she? Lisa is 5'7", by the way. <laughs> so um, I know that you're 5'3", five, uh, five, um, uh, Laugh Explorer Travel. Um, Angela, question. What is the floor material? Okay, there we go. So it's um, it's a one-piece linoleum-type flooring. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, and so when we're constructing this flooring, there's not any seams. Like like you said, it's it's one sheet that's completely rolled out over the structure board, uh, over the entire structure of the floor. And we don't, in the construction process, we don't just glue in certain spots. We don't staple just around the edges. We actually spray an entire coating of adhesive across the entire surface of the floor and then put a lot of pressure, roll over it, uh, just to create a solid seal over the entire surface versus just the outsides or in certain, in certain spots. Nice. Um, Angela, I, I would think in this kind of floor model, in this kind of unit, uh, to answer your question about the office, I, I would think this would sort of double um, as an office, um, she was making a suggestion to some sort of flip up table for people who full time for an office space. Right. Um, it, Good idea. Limited space in, in the class C's. Um, in a lot of them, I mean, there are obviously some bigger ones, there's yeah. some smaller ones, um, but obviously your table would have to uh, to double um, as your office space. Or maybe the passenger seat. Or maybe the passenger seat, right? That's where <laughs> we get some work done. So let's keep on going because we have so much to do, guys. All right, so we're getting back in here, and um, well, we'll just climb in the shower because that's what we do. Oh, look at this. It's a, This is the smallest of things, but it's a huge thing. Look at this. There's a drying rack up there, right? How many times... Whether you're washing clothes or just you've gone to the beach right. and your stuff is wet and you've got no place to hang it. Mm -hmm. it, it, it. We had to go out and buy like some like one of those like tension, little rod. tension <laughs> rods to do it in our it's right. just a small little thing, guys. But I am going to take that down so I don't hit my head. So, all right. So as you see, my head is up in the bubble. And again, for those who don't know, I am six foot four. You could be seven foot four and stand in here. There are no issues at all. There's plenty of front to back, left to right. The shower uh, head is actually in an awesome place as well because it goes up. I don't even have to duck underneath this sucker. Um, my only pet peeve, again, for all my subscribers, you know, I just don't like glass doors. I, I prefer the retractable ones, but it's all good, okay? So there's that. So let me put this bar back up before I forget and Caleb yells at me. I'm carrying around a bar. And then there's one more thing for part of the bathroom and, well, you know what time it is, right? All right, we're going to give that back to Lisa. When we do our regular videos, Caleb, we have something we call it the tall man toilet test, and we have this cute little animation, and okay. <laughs> maybe we'll show you some videos when we're not live. But um, So I'm going to sit down here because when Lisa and I first started the channel, we, I found it hard to find bathrooms I fit in. This one is not. Now, my foot is, as you can see, it's right, I mean, it's right at the door, but it's not beyond the door. It's, so there's plenty of room. So at my height, and I would say even several inches taller, if your legs are, I've got like 36 inch long legs. You do have long legs. Yeah, I got long legs. That uh, You're gonna be fine sitting in here, all right? So definitely thumbs up in here, all right? Huge countertop in here. And this is more of uh, what I was thinking Caleb was talking about what the kitchen counter um, should have been, um, but that's what's in here, right? Nice medicine chest, huge, tall. You don't have to worry about seeing yourself in there. Double doors storage underneath all right the only thing that is not really in here is is a specific place if you will for towels but 
I'm assuming you can do that right in the bedroom where Lisa is standing now. Okay. Um, this looks like uh, we call it an RV queen. Yes, this, it, this would be your queen, yes. Right, so not residential, but RV queen, right? Correct. Okay, um, there's power left and right of the bed. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, left and right. It's down here to the left and over there to the right where Lisa was showing it, okay? Um, it's, it's right here, actually, Lisa. There you gotcha. go. Okay, um, there's some storage up above. Deep, deep, deep storage, okay? I mean, that goes all the way back, <laughs> okay? Um, just so you can see what the RV queen looks like with my tall butt on here. There we go. So there's, there's plenty of room for two people in here because it's on a slide. Even though it's facing east to west, it's on a slide, which gives you the room that you need as a tall person to sleep. And then you've got your wall of storage here for all your clothes and things. Okay. Um, is there... Not that I would know, and forgive me for asking if I shouldn't be, but washer dryer prep at all anywhere no. hidden? So on Jayco's Class C's, traditional Class C's, there's there's not any okay. model or floor plan that we option that. Okay, that's all right. I wasn't sure. That's why I wanted to ask. Again, right. I mean, these are deep drawers, guys. I they mean, really are. Unbelievable. And there is additional hidden storage behind your television. Hidden storage? How nice. What? Oh, oh look at that crap. my goodness. Look at that. That's awesome. That is totally Man, the, Well, that's where you put your safe. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yep. Now that everybody in the world knows to go <laughs> to get the safe. All right, so I'm going to grab this from Lisa. Lisa, if you don't mind grabbing the backpack. <laughs> and we're going to go look at that um, 26, right? Correct. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's like, we're making him famous. Good stuff. He is famous. <laughs> So guys, if you have plans to, to come here to the, the 2022 Tampa RV Super Show, I, I just, I can't express to you how many RVs there are here this year. There seems to be way more here this year than last year. Um, it can be overwhelming. So definitely come with some kind of idea. Um, there's a lot of us out here uh, broadcasting live as well as putting out content so that you can uh, get some ideas of things. And so if the best thing to do is, is have at least an idea of what you're sort of searching for. And, and then there's so many people like Caleb out here, whether they're manufacturers reps or, or some of the dealers, there's so many people out here to help you. Okay. Before we go on further, Angela had a question. Um, she wanted to know, it, uh, uh, she said the seat hardware is nice. And she wanted to know what are the tank sizes. That is a wonderful question. Uh, I can pull that information up specifically if you guys want. To I'll tell know. you what. I'll tell you what. We're going to do it even better. We're taking you back, Angela. We're going back. We're going back because I bet it's right on the side of the unit. All right, here we are. All right, so your tank sizes. Your fresh tank, 47 gallons. Gray tank, 41 gallons. Black tank. 32 gallons all right so there you go so let's see if i was quicker than caleb do you think i was quicker than caleb i don't know leave a comment was i quicker i don't know <laughs> all right oddly enough it's the same exact as this 43 41 and 32 excellent <laughs> we're standing here as you picked up your phone i'm like it's right there let me go run another question do they actually sell RVs to take home at the show or do you order? Um, all these RVs here are going somewhere. They're not going back to a dealer. I promise you probably, I would say 100% of them are all gonna be sold here. Unless, as of this morning, every unit that you see here is available, unless any of them have been sold, sold already. Uh, and RV1 also has a great selection available in store and coming from us, from the manufacturer. So yep. they're, they're a great option uh, if you're local to RV1 uh, to look into their availability, give them a call, ask about what they have coming. Right. So the other sort of, I think, side note to that question would be if you're thinking about coming down here, um, obviously the selection is greatest now. Correct. This is a five-day show, started today and Sunday. So the longer you wait, yes. the less... Um, options you'll have of vehicles that are here on property doesn't mean that they don't have it on anywhere else, yes. but here to drive home on Sunday. Yeah, if you guys are looking to start camping anytime soon, I would recommend getting here ASAP and picking up a unit that's available so you can actually start your adventures. Because also, let's just be honest. I mean, supply and demand. Exactly. There, there are still those things sort of going on, yep. and so um, uh, 
having access to all models. Like for instance, we actually came here to look at the 29 XK. Right. It's not here. It's not here. And so uh, availability is still you know, a, a challenge in the industry, but uh, yes. they're doing their best, and then yeah, some. And, uh, supply is, is struggling to meet the demand. That's yes. how it is. Demand has been at an all-time high for the RV industry for a couple Insane. years Insane, yeah. Which is a great thing. It's a great thing for campers all, all across North America. But yeah, obviously the challenge for us is meeting that demand for you guys. We're doing the best we can, uh, and, and like we said, there's quite a lot of selection here at the Tampa Super Show. Uh, so definitely come on down and check it out. All right, so we're gonna go inside this 26 XD. We're not gonna talk a lot about the outside because it looks a lot like the other one we were at, right? <laughs> it's got the similar storage down here and the nice big storage in the back. Um, also in the front, we're on the E450 chassis. And so we're not gonna sit in the front either because it's exactly the same, okay? <laughs> um, and again, the bed up front also exactly the same. You got your 750 pound rating. The TV is up there, which swivels out to also become the TV for the living room right there. Actually, at least you can just put that down over here. That's what we've been sort of doing. All right. And look, they also have the ladder. We really didn't talk about that before, but there is a ladder so that, I mean, you don't have to jump up there. You can climb up the ladder. Okay. Now this setup over here is exactly the same. You've got your two recliners. Nice couple of uh, cabinetry above, right? Uh, and again, I don't think we open the cabinetry over there, but we'll do that here. There you go, some nice cabinet storage. All right, um, you've got your blinds back here, your accordion style blinds. That's either a love or hate. We have it in ours, we love them, we don't mind them at all. Um, and then right next, we have the dinette. And again, this sort of setup is exactly the same as it was in the one that we were just in. The kitchen, however, is completely different, isn't it, Lisa? It is, and Tim just joined us. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Welcome Thank to the party, man. Yes, yes. Um, so we do have this nice corner sink here. Um, it's some decent uh, prep space. We have a stainless 50-50 um, sink, which is nice. A nice faucet, nice window. Above that, we do have deep cabinets. Um, deep. Plenty of space for your, um, yeah. for your plates and cups and all of that. Um, underneath the sink, we do have... Generous storage that goes all the way back. Nice. And there's also the side door. It, and small thing, by the way. Look at the LED lights that are underneath here. Isn't that just that give it nice accent. Yeah. Right? And, and, and above the fascia. And, and above the fascia on the slide. I mean, it's little details like that, especially like at night. That's like super, super sharp. So you, there, this actually has three doors. Oh, look at that. So you can access <laughs> that. Anything in there very I, I, easily. I bet you could almost crawl through, like from one side to the other. You probably could. I, I mean, almost. Not me. Yeah, no, I, it'd be kind of <laughs> tough too. I, I'd be willing to try, but you know, right, yeah, but it'd be, it'd, it'd be a little ugly. Yes. It'd be a little ugly. <laughs> so we do have three storage drawers here. Ah, there we go. There you go. Um, uh, starting up here, we have nice overhead storage that goes all the way back as I throw away the signs. By the way, for those of you who are also joining who've been following us for a while, um, we've just switched to a gimbal to try to make our, our, our videos a little bit smoother for you guys. And it's mostly for me because I'm the shaky one with a camera. <laughs> the, the problem is we're, we're trying to learn the gimbal as we're using the gimbal live. And so uh, if, uh, if I'm holding it up here and I miss Lisa, I, I, I apologize. And so... Same goes for me because it doesn't turn as fast as you think it's going it, it, to. Yeah. So we do have nice a microwave. microwave. Yeah, microwave. it's full size too. I love it. And I like the backsplash. Yeah. Um, so we do have a three burner stove. Underneath that, we do have a small oven. And then moving on, we have the pantry again, the, the panel. Pantry. Match. Sorry, refrigerator, freezer, thank you. The <laughs> paneling does match the rest of the cabinet, so that is awesome. So we'll open that up so you can yep. see the inside. And again, like the other one, this is uh, propane or electric. Yes. All right, so then the back also is completely different. So the bed here is still on a slide, but it's on this side of the coach instead of this side, okay? Another uh, RV queen. You've got two little nightstands up there, which from the looks of it to me would fit your standard CPAP. Yes. Okay, um, and there's, there's some power there for that CPAP if you need to have it, right? Uh, nice window in the back, and let me just crawl in there for you all so you can see. Oh, that mattress is kind of comfortable. Not too bad. Now, remember, I'm six foot four, right? So use my height as reference. You see where my feet are, okay? 
So they're, they're almost at the wall, but they're still not quite at the wall. So if you sleep completely straight, you got about another three or four inches, right? I don't know people who sleep completely straight. Um, but there, there, there's room there. You just, just be mindful. I don't know how everybody sleeps, okay? Um, as you were coming into the bedroom, obviously there's your wardrobe, right? Great hanging space in there. That is, uh, what is, does, is that, is that, is oh, that, is that, is uh, that stuff a... up front? It is, yeah. Okay, that's uh, like the netting and stuff for the, for the bed up front. I was going to say, is that your portable table? But I'm like, I'm thinking about that. Joe says you got big feet, too. I, you know, I just, <laughs> 11s, you know, I'm six foot four, you know, what am I going to say? Right, you got four big drawers. I mean, these are deep, 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 deep drawers, okay? And then uh, across from this is kind of, uh, you know, like another food pantry with, with, again, very solid shelves, okay? No need to beef those suckers up. You got some solid shelves in there. And this doesn't go all the way back. It's kind of shallow, but it, it's, again, making use of every ounce of space, right? Now, if you want to have some privacy in the evening, there is a little retractable door here. I'm not going to bring it back because it's tied back, but it does cover this entire area back here. So if you want some privacy in the evening, you can uh, uh, close that. And the last thing to look at is, well, well, you know what time it is. All right, this is a plastic foot flush toilet. And at my height of six foot four, I just fit in here. So I would give it maybe a couple of more inches because of my height, my long legs, um, uh, because the wall is here. We fit, it's okay, but too much taller and you might just, again, you just angle just a little bit. You're still on the toilet. You just have to angle just a little bit and you'll be fine, okay? Um, because this is sort of a very narrow type bathroom. You do have a nice size sink and a little bit of counter space there. Um, there's actually a toilet paper holder mounted right there, which is great. And it's, you know, it's, it's the small things, believe it or not, right? Medicine chest right here, okay? And then, uh, of course, you can see my height. You see my whole self in there, which is awesome. Um, there's a little drawer here and then a couple of doors down here. Now, there's not a lot of storage down there. There's actually a water filter down there, which is great. Um, so it does take up a little bit of space. Okay, so um, the only thing not in here is a place to store towels, but since your wardrobe and stuff is right there, that would be a good place to put your towels, okay? So last thing in this one, let's climb in the shower, which uh, again, they have the, the hanging bar in here for hanging those wet things, okay? Um, and just like the other unit we were in, guys, there's plenty of head height in here. You could be a seven foot four and be in here. It's plenty of room. Um, and even the shower heads put in a good place for tall people. Um, you've got more of the retractable door in this one, which I, I prefer, which is great. Um, places for soaps and things. So um, this one is kind of a great layout. Um, Ted, I hope you made it on to see this. If not, I know you'll see it later. Um, they did not have the XK here, the 29 XK. So the first one we looked at was the 29 MV. MV. And then this one is the 26 xd correct okay and they got many more and we're going to continue to look at stuff since we're streaming live here and um caleb we have caleb with us he's from jayco we have one of the manufacturer reps with us which is just awesome and uh if you can stick with us great if you have to go help other people we understand that as well i'm happy to help you guys for a little while longer awesome awesome i've got a couple of uh, comments feedback for you okay um, angela likes the uh the led lights likes the um oh, awesome. i'm sorry uh, uh, Laugh Explorer likes the LED lights. Angela says that um, she likes the lights and the decor. Um, and Journey to Firefly Florist um, was the one that said you have the big feet. Their pimple <laughs> is weird as well. And uh, um, so they would also like to know where's their shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, if, if you're running around here, out here with us, and you see us, you stop us. I do have gifts for people. So uh, they're, 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 they're hidden inside that backpack right there. So if you see us, we may have to give uh, something to Caleb because he's been a, Caleb been a, been a, awesome be awesome so a that great sport. Caleb is awesome so far. Right? Right? In fact, you know what? We'll, we'll do it now. So All right. Before here we, we forget. go. Excellent. My, my brain is like a piece of Swiss cheese. And <laughs> you have a low battery, by the way. Oh, I do have uh -oh. a low battery. That yeah, you're... Means you're at 20 percent that's okay no, we, we can get through the stream oh here we go <laughs> you are now part of tall man's re reviews that's amazing and better yet you're one of the tall man clan wow i it's a privilege and an honor 
and I appreciate it. No, not a problem, man. We do appreciate it. And so I'm sure the people that are watching, whether you're you're watching us live now or you're watching the rebroadcast, um, it's always special to be able to spend some moments with the manufacturers' reps. Yeah. Um, uh, as as buyers, as consumers, it's very rare to have that happen. Right. And and even at regular RV shows, most of them are just not big enough. Right. And so. Maybe there's one there that right. may, but dear y'all are everywhere here. Yeah, yeah. Because this is, is this like the largest or like the second largest in the country? I would say this is probably second to Hershey, Hershey, yep. Pennsylvania, but this is still a very large show. It's insane. We do have a lot of Jayco reps here on the motorized and towable side. I work specifically on the motorized side. But yeah, if you guys are ever at an RV show and you see somebody wearing a Jayco shirt, please say hi. I mean, even just saying hi, letting us know. If you have any questions we're happy to walk around and, and spend quality time with you guys that's what we're here for all right well great what do you, what what do you think we should look at now do you have a nice super c what what would you think uh, would be good oh, for people to see if you guys really want to step it up a notch we can go check out our seneca prestige let's look at it let's all right. go all right well we'll grab that one from lisa all right hello everybody wave to youtube <laughs> we are live here at the uh 2022 rv super show We've had uh, Caleb with us, and we've looked at a couple of uh, Jayco Class Cs, and I think we are about to step into the Super C. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Let me, let me, let me, re there we go. Look at that sucker. Holy moly. All right, I'm drooling. All right, so now, here, here's, here's the step up. We did a video not so long ago, and... Um, talking about the differences between uh, class C's and super C's. And so, I'm gonna go through my list. Tell me if we got it right. Okay. All right, <laughs> typically super C, um, commercial chassis instead of a four kind of chassis. You're gonna have like freight liners or, um, like what's this built on? This is our Freightliner S2 RV chassis. Okay, the Freightliner. Two, um, air brakes, most air brakes. Four air brakes. Um, three, because of the, um, the Freightliner chassis, your underneath storage is yes. There was something else on the list. Do you remember what was it? Well, what, there was like three or four things, that, the differences that sort of, you know, lay out the difference between a uh, Super C. Oh, towing. Yes, towing. You can tow 15 to 20,000? This is going to be our 12,000 pound bitch. 12,000. Diesel We're, versus gas. Diesel yes. versus Diesel, gas. obviously. Yep. yep. Um, normally, the normal class C's tow anywhere between 7 to 8-ish. Yep. Right? And this is 12,000. Correct. All right, so um, yeah, I would say you hit the nail on the head. Uh, the only thing I would say that's a little—it's a little bit more broad—is uh, it doesn't have to be that commercial type truck. Um, a lot of some manufacturers are now building on that Ford F550. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a heavy duty, more super duty uh, Ford truck. Uh, we're going to be building on that here very soon. Really? So definitely okay. be looking out we for that. We will look out for that. Gypsy um, Lizzie, by the way, says she is surprised it has no tandem axle. Uh, yeah, not all uh, Super C's have tandem ax uh, axles. That's a length and weight thing. It is, yes. Um, when you get into maybe like a show hauler yes. and, and some of these really mega Class C's right. that need sort of their own category. Yes. So our, our Seneca line on the S2RV chassis, like I said, it's clearly a heavy duty motorhome. Uh, but yes, you can go up in, uh, in weight, in length. Uh, we're kind of on more of the light duty when it comes to these heavy duty. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm sure we can find uh, uh, something gypsy in that category while we're here because there's everything here, is, yeah. and and you can compare the two. Like, it, and there's a price difference too between where we're at here and when you get into the tandem axles. I mean, because again, it, it's almost trying to compare a, at least in my opinion, yes. uh, a travel trailer to a fifth wheel. There's there's a big jump when you get into the tandem um, uh, uh, super seats. Correct. So, um, so we talked about storage. So let's open up. Right? I mean, it just, even the latches, everything about it is more heavy duty. Gypsy Lizzie says, awesome, you guys rock. Thank you very much, Gypsy. Love Thank you, girl. Thank you, Gypsy Lizzie. Right, nice. It's all carpeted, right, which is awesome. Look at that. I mean, that, that whole side. I yeah, mean, it's, it's yeah, from one end to the other, if so. It, if it was bendable, you could get a canoe in there. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> the flexible depend, canoe. It depends on floor plan, but some of our Senecas do have complete pass-through storage. Gotcha. 
which is something I was actually going to ask before we uh, got back Correct. into the inside because a lot of them we see do have some pass through. Right. And again, that is based upon your floor models. Okay. Exactly. All right, there's only one door that didn't open. I'm thinking this is some sort of mechanical area, which is not. It is not. It's actually more storage. Cubicle of storage in so there. So the entire <laughs> length is storage. So that means all the mechanicals are in the bays on the other side. Yeah, a lot over there and in between. Okay. Um, and then if you turn around you right here, that's kind of what the front of it looks like. This is our turn standard around. Seneca. This is what the front of this other because again we're, we're, we're crammed in here we can't get to the front of the one we're about to go in but that's exactly what it looks like yep it's your big old freightliner truck uh, uh. all right yeah. okay, I be love the paint job on this by the way yeah Can you, beautiful hopefully, hopefully it's picking it i might Absolutely. have to back up a little bit there's also a uh, that's uh 48 46 it's a nice big TV, y'all. Yeah. And it's not that I hear full time in its own cabinet. Uh, you have uh, an awning that covers, well, the entire side. What it doesn't cover, there's a separate awning that covers the door. Okay? You also have frameless windows. So, yeah, so above the slide here is your slide, slide uh, topper. And then what's uh, a pro on the Seneca Prestige is you have a giant Gerard, a Gerard? In a Gerard integrated awning, similar to the same types of awnings that we put on our high-end pencil pushers. So it's a fantastic awning. So basically, and that was my fault, the awning that I'm seeing here is the awning that's just covering the slide. If we backed up just a little bit further, you can see just above there, that's the Gerard um awning and you see those on very very high-end coaches um and so that uh and, and it's um frameless is that what it's called not frameless um armless. it's what armless armless yeah very cool it, it comes out and then it bends down it's it, it's very cool and typically uh don't they all uh um have like a wind sort of uh, uh sensor ish that if it gets to a certain wind it just closes itself all right so let's go on in Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, Dorothy, we're not in Kansas anymore. No. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, just right away, walking in, you can see a huge difference uh, between what's in here and what's in your standard C. I mean, like from the flooring, it's like real... Tile. This is hand laid ceramic tile with in floor heat. In floor heat. Yes, nice. you have a heated floor. Nice. That's beautiful. All right, so let's. I'm going to give this back to Lisa, guys. I'm going to jump up into the front since we're in a different chassis here. We're going to sit into this freight liner, and uh, I'm quite sure I'm going to fit just perfect in here. Oh yeah. It and looks like you've got plenty of leg it, room. It is, and everything adjusts. Uh, the steering wheel is actually in a really good place for a tall person. Again, if you didn't know, I'm six foot four for those who are joining late. By the way, if you're finding our videos for the first time, y'all know what to do, right? Thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Tall Man Clan, right? We love you guys. And of course, the Tall Man Clan that's watching, God bless you. Gypsy and Ted and all you guys, thank you for being such a, a loyal supporters. We do appreciate you. So again, this is air, air brakes. So you have air brakes, you have air parking. Um, uh, hydraulic leveling system, one touch. I mean, it just, we, we've, again, it's kind of like talking about the difference between a, a travel trail and a fifth wheel. The, the differences are, are huge um, between the class C. Um, and of course, price tag as well. Uh, this, this one starts somewhere around 300-ish. Yeah, about three. Right, and the ones that we were in are probably 130-ish. Yeah, yeah. Right, so there's a, hundred and seventy thousand dollar difference between what we're in now and what we were in a few minutes ago okay and so but you can see why right i mean again hand laid ceramic tile in floor heating all the appointments are leather right yep. high gloss finish wood yeah so the difference is huge when it comes to this cabinetry um it's it is hard wood it's real hard wood uh and it's extremely high end, um, and it just it brings it up to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. So right when you came in the front door, you are looking at a couple of uh, theater chairs. All right, we're going to give this back to Lisa. 
And I have a comment from Angela, by the way. She said, God bless y'all. You hit the ground running with your channel and your success will only grow. Thank you so much, Angela. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Y'all could have sat there and been in the video. It's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to run. All right, so this has, uh, I'm going to call it opposing sofas. Okay, uh, th there's a sofa across the way. It's not exactly across from me, but the, there's, that's where the TV is. And it's a huge, that's gotta be 50. And it's on a televator. Um, for those who don't know what a televator is, I'm just gonna push this down. So there's a window back here. And the blind is down too, so. So if you're not watching TV, you can put the TV down and you can see out the window. And right? so if there's, you're parked somewhere where there's amazing views and you don't know, want watching TV, you can just have this out of the way. But of course, if you park somewhere where, you know, you got a building next to you, just keep the TV up. Just, <laughs> or you don't like your neighbors. If we're next to you, definitely keep the TV up. <laughs> and there's a sound bar mounted there too, which is kind of cool. There's USB plugs and charging ports. Um, and just like we were talking with all the seats, it seems like every seat that I look at has seat belts. So again, what, two, four, six, eight, ten? You can put ten people in here, y'all. I don't know where y'all are sleeping, but... I guess on the heated floor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then up here, even on our Seneca, same story as your entry-level Red Hawk and your Gray Hawk. You do have a seamless fiberglass front cap up here. Absolutely no seams. However, once you get up to here, uh, this is where you get our uh, windshield, our front windshield. Basically. Nice. Uh, it does have a uh, power shade. Oh, look at that. That so, is awesome. Oh, that's just spoiling me now. Close all, close all the way. That is awesome. And then... Again, 750 pound bunk rating up here. Now, a lot of the, uh, we, we skip over a lot of things and we apologize, but a lot of the features in here are touch, right? So we, there's a little panel here, all right? So if you wanna, all right, can, can y'all see that there? There you go. All right, so it's just touch panels uh, spread throughout the coach for turning on things and off yeah. things, okay? And there's also, right when you walk in this little cabinet here for, for hanging jackets and things. So if it's kind of a, a cold area that you're at or it's raining, you got a little storage there. Okay. The comments are very favorable. Everybody loves this. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, we have some friends over here. We're, we're not showing on the camera. They're a little camera shy, but they're sitting at the dinette. Um, and so we're just juggling around here. So uh, there's the dinette. This does fold down to be a bed, I assume. It does. Right? And so if you need some more sleeping space, storage underneath. We have yes. piano, piano hinges on this one? Not yet. Not, not yet, yet, but they're coming, right? They are, yeah. They're coming. All right. Just checking. Yep. And what about this sofa? Does this make it to a bed? I do believe you know? it does, yes. Okay. So we do have plenty of sleeping two here, there. sleeping two there, Without sleeping the seven kids up there that are weigh 100 pounds. All right. And right in front of me um, is a beautiful 40 foot Furion fireplace with like kind of a mantle ish sort of thing on top with tile behind and the lighting. I mean, it's absolutely, I mean, it's just beautiful. The cabin tree's um, yeah. beautiful in yeah. here. Really right, is. again, real wood, y'all. This is not, you know. Yeah. This is hard wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then there's the galley. We got the galley. Yeah, so look at this. This is beautiful. That is solid surface. Um, we do have a nice large um, corner sink. We do have. Um, oh, it's induction. It is induction. Look at that. Burner induction. And I like the, that it is spread out like you would normally have. It, rather than uh, some of them are yeah yeah right. to the other direction before so i forget and nice since time. we didn't see that it's it's electric if you will because it's induction are there only uh, solar already installed on the senecas is that a uh, there is yeah, solar is standard as well as a wine guard 2.0 okay it's your digital tv antenna yeah it's a wi-fi booster so if you have a nearby wi-fi signal you can boost it into your coach and then you can also uh, get a SIM card for a monthly fee from like Verizon, AT&T and such and have a mobile hotspot. Nice. Excellent. Very nice. All right. So um, overhead, we do have generous storage, um, plenty of room, uh, deep enough for your plates. Let's embarrass some people. Hi! Hey, you're <laughs> We're live on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to the Tampa RV Super Show. Oh yeah, like a like a little spice rack sort of area tucked in the back. Would you say there are side spice cabinets? Yeah, I side spice love cabinets. That because you know how often you have to you know reach for the the salt and pepper shakers there. You can have them right there and and nicely hidden. So your your countertops are clean, but it's easily accessible. Is that on this side as well? It is. Oh God! Look at that. Caleb, we're hiring you. You got to stay with us the rest of the day. Remember we were talking about LED lights in, in the other, right up here too, right up above the valance, there's LED lights all the way up there, which give you some extra. 
the color control? Like an app and change the color, or are they just white? It's it's just that. that which is fine. I yeah. just I mean I, I don't I don't think many of the others have that either, right, no. unless you're buying a two point five million Prevo, <laughs> and then you can make I, it any I, color. I love the idea though. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> well, I, look, I mean, how much more is it for a you know RGB LED strip as opposed to the whites? Yeah. And then it's um, sure some of these coaches have apps, yeah. right? And then you just add it, you know. Yeah, I don't my, know. my good buddy is the guy who develops these things, so I, I'll let him know. We're putting you on the spot, Caleb. <laughs> All right, so nice, at, we have a nice convection large, microwave. Convection microwave. Yes, we'll look yep. at that. Yeah. Uh, plenty of storage yeah, underneath. Absolutely. This, we have all kinds of storage drawers. This one's nice and deep. Um, we have space under here. Absolutely. Here. Just so you know, we are live. Thanks. You're welcome to be in here. It's all great. We just, you know, like to everybody you know. to know in case your camera's shy. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll whip it around and talk to y'all. Yeah, I know. She went running. <laughs> she well, went you know, we're, we're friendly. We don't bite. <laughs> All right, and then, so lots of oh, yeah. space here. Yeah, that goes all the way back. And then we do have um, three more drawers over here. Yeah. And specifically on this line, Not we call it an electric coach. Clearly, it's not all electric. It's not an EV. It's on your freight, Freightliner chassis. But by electric, we mean there's no LP on board. None at all. None. None needed. None. So also tankless heater for the... For the it's, it's your Aqua Hot. Aqua Hot. Sorry, yeah. It's your tankless. Aqua Hot 250D, so it's, it's the same... Uh, water heater furnace system that goes in our high-end luxury diesel pushers. Nice, nice. Beautiful we're, refrigerator. We're, uh, it's it's uh, locked. Um, it's it, yeah, it's got so, zip ties, so we yeah, can't open it. But it's uh, it that looks to be probably close to like eighteen cubic. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So it's beyond that. Nice. Huge refrigerator, everybody. Mm -hmm. And then, well, y'all know what time it is, right? <laughs> All right. So for those who just don't know, before I go, there was a bunch of comments that just came in, so we'll let Lisa catch up. I'll hold that while Lisa's catching up. I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference um, as I'm walking around. But as I'm sitting on this toilet, which is a porcelain foot flush, obviously you can see, I mean, there's there's plenty of room, y'all, okay? Um, Dragonfly would like to know if she can request a walkthrough of specific travel trailers. Um, Dragonfly, I think maybe you're um, coming to um, the Tampa RV show. Um, you, yeah, just, uh, if, if you're wanting us to look at it, just leave a comment and if we can get it in for you guys, we'll do one for you live. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Got a nice countertop in here. Solid surface y'all, by the way. Okay. And, um, it's, it's one piece. It's molded. It's not a separate thing. It's all one thing. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. I really do. Nice, cool faucet. Um, and there's just enough room to put out your toiletries. You know, uh, we, we full-time, we talk about, like, counter space and bathrooms all the time because, you know, you've got your toothpaste and the toothbrushes and you've got your lotions and your potions and your soaps and the, you, it just, and sometimes there's, like, that much space. And so it's great to have that, okay? Um, cabinets underneath, which are good, okay? Um, there's some cabinet storage over here, which, oddly enough, I think would be the best place for your towels in this bathroom right there. Because up top, you have your medicine chest. And again, from a height standpoint, you know, plenty of height, okay? Double wide, so for those who have lots of drugs, for all you druggies out there, you got a lot of space for your drugs. <laughs> yeah, all right, in the shower. All right, so we, we tell you in our videos all the time, this is how we are all the time. It's not an act in our videos. We are just stupid all the time, okay? So um, great shower, guys. Again, like the rest of them that we've been going in, um, the, all these ones that Jayco make, plenty of height uh, uh, for tall people, okay? Um, so you could be uh, nearly eight foot tall and stand in there. There's every bit of a foot and a half above my head, okay? Um, three shelves up front for soaps and shampoos. Three sh shelves in the back, right? And then, of course, you, you got your shower head. It's, it's sort of tied in, but I promise you when it's on, it's at the right place. Um, I just don't like glass doors. You guys all know that. I prefer the retractable ones. But other than that, this is an amazing, amazing coach. Um, Ted popped in, and he does say that there is a 29XK at the show, so it's probably going to be at one of the dealers rather than the manufacturer. Well, we are at one of the dealer sites, but we'll keep on looking for you, Ted. I mean, if there's an XK, would it be somewhere else? My follow-up would be if it's uh, with Integra. Integra. Maybe it's with okay. Integra. Okay, right. we will check it out for you, Ted, because we love you. We are definitely going to search for it for you. <laughs> so there is no 29XK here? According to Ted, <laughs> Ted says there is. And so we are on the hunt for it for him because he wants us to review it. So, Ted, 
we're going to go look for it for you. Um, Caleb, our friend here, just said that uh, it may be at Integra. Correct. Maybe. So we'll take a look at it. Um, before we get into the bedroom, there you go. it just takes a pull. There is your washer and dryer, and guess what? It is already there. I like that. I like it. <laughs> yeah, the reason why it wasn't opening, you got to open that side first. There's the little channel there. Right. Then we get into the bedroom, and uh, wow. I just this is a lot of space here a lot yeah, of there is really a lot, a lot of, of walking space, space and, and again it's, it's because the bed's on a slide and where the the wardrobe is in the front it just gives you a ton of space in here okay um i would call this a, a this may actually be residential queen yeah it's definitely 80. yeah i agree RV king. could be an rv we rv king caleb uh, yes, it is RV King. RV King, perfect. RV King. So right across from me is your wardrobe, and you got opposing doors, right, with your storage, right, uh, racks up there, hanging racks, big long mirrors. So when you're trying to pimp yourself out to go out and look all purdy and stuff, you got uh, room to do that. Um, down here, room for all my stinky shoes. Okay. Excellent. This is amazing. All right. And if you notice, the air came back on, and it's not all that loud right it's it's quiet yeah right? so on this coach on board we do have two 15,000 BTU ACs uh, with integrated heat pumps in each integrated heat pumps which means well of course there's no propane anyway right. <laughs> that's excellent all right y'all we're gonna go back outside Lisa you want to grab the backpack yes. there we're gonna go outside we got crowded in here thank you all so much we appreciate y'all letting us come through here All right, well, we have been monopolizing Caleb's time for quite a while. And so uh, I don't want to take up any more of his time because he's here to help a lot of other people as well. And so uh, we're going to end this stream for now. Uh, my phone is about dead anyway, so we're going to do some charging. Uh, uh, Ted, we're going to go look for that one for you over at Integra. He suggested we go look there. It might be there. And once the phone is charged, we'll come back on for one more stream for the day, okay? Until we see you all again. Be safe. See you guys.